puissance que notre Seigneur Jésus-Christ met à notre disposition, pouvant nous aider chaque jour et apporter notre foi et les fardeaux de la vie avec une vision nouvelle. En tant que fils et fille du bon pasteur qui porte nos requêtes et nos prières ferventes devant le trône du Très-Haut, qui nous comble de multiples bénédictions, nous permettant de répondre positivement aux exigences de la vie chrétienne. Euh, Mettez-vous debout, s'il vous plaît, pour accueillir le célébrant.
so glad to welcome to our church today our priest from the pastoral center from the Archdiocese of Boston you know, who are with us this afternoon for this wonderful celebration, the inauguration, the dedication of our church to Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Our presider, Father, a very reverend, Father Brian McHugh. Welcome. Thank you, Father Garcia. Thank you, and God bless you all. It's great to be with all of you today. Receive, receive, receive. And we have Father Reverend Father Paul Soper, who is the director of uh, pastoral planning in the Archdiocese of Boston. <laughs> and our ongoing pastor that everybody knows, Father Joy, Father Bill Joy. <laughs> Father Paul Sofer, who's been with us from the beginning, to assist us in the process, when I say just a word, an opening word before you talk us. Please be seated. Good afternoon. My heart is filled with so much joy uh, at, at what you've accomplished in, uh, in, uh, in, in working together and bringing together the wonderful parishes of St. Angela and St. Matthew into now the even more wonderful parish of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Uh, I, am, uh, I am so, uh, stand, I stand in so much admiration of the countless hours of work that this has required from so many of your dedicated parishioners. How many hours of meetings and of talking things through and then talking them through more and then talking them through more and here's the fruits of your labors. We trust in the Lord that he is going to bless those labors with, um, with great things. This is going to be not just a stable parish. It's going to be not just a, 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 a parish that is financially secure. This is going to be a great parish, an amazing parish. Real, important things are going to happen here. People's hearts are going to change in this place. Disciples are going to be made for Jesus in this place. Thank you all for your dedication to seeing that that happen. And God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries.
us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. I did not call you, Eli said. Go back to sleep. 
so he went back to sleep. Again, the Lord called Samuel, who rose and went to Eli. Here I am, he said. You called me? But Eli answered, I did not call you, my son. Go back to sleep. At that time, Samuel was not familiar with the Lord, because the Lord had not revealed everything to him as yet. The Lord called Samuel again for the third time. Getting up and going to Eli, he said, Here I am. You called me? Then Eli understood that the Lord was calling the youth. So he said to Samuel, Go to sleep, and if you are called, reply. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. When Samuel went to sleep in his place, the Lord came and revealed his presence, calling out as before, Samuel, Samuel. Samuel answered, Speak, for your servant is listening. Samuel grew up, and the Lord was with him, not permitting any word of his to be without effect. The word of the Lord. I did not. 
cannot restrain my lips as you, O oh Lord, you know. Here am I, Lord, I go to do your will. Here am I, Lord, I go to do your will. Le corps de l'homme et de la femme n'est pas pour la débauche, mais pour le Seigneur. Écoutons attentivement cette lecture de la première lettre de Saint Paul apôtre, chapitre 6, versets 13, c, 15, puis 17 à 20. Deuxième lecture, lecture de la première lettre de Saint Paul de Marie. Frère, le corps n'est pas pour la débauche, il est pour le Seigneur. Et le Seigneur est pour le corps. Et Dieu, par sa puissance, a ressuscité le Seigneur et nous ressuscitera nous aussi. Ne le savez-vous pas? Vos corps sont les membres du corps. Celui qui s'unit au Seigneur ne fait avec lui qu'un seul esprit. Fuyez la débauche. Tous les péchés que l'homme peut commettre sont extérieurs à son corps. Mais l'homme qui se livre à la débauche commet un péché contre son propre corps. Ne le savez-vous pas? Votre corps est un sanctuaire de l'Esprit Saint. Lui qui est en vous et que vous avez reçu de Dieu. Vous ne vous appartenez plus à vous-même, car vous avez été acheté à grand prix. Rendez donc gloire à Dieu dans votre corps. Parole du Seigneur. Mes frères et sœurs, nous découvrons la grâce. John was standing with two of his disciples, and his watch Jesus walked by. He said, Behold the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them follow him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translate means, Teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, you will see. So they went and saw where Jesus was staying, and they stayed with them that day. It was about four in the afternoon, and true, the brother of Simon Peter was one of the two who had drawn. 
He first found his own brother, Simon, and turned and him. We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought them to Jesus. Jesus looked at them and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Lord be with you. Proclamation de l'Évangile de Jésus-Christ selon Saint Jean. En ce temps-là, John le Baptiste se trouvait avec deux de ses disciples, posant son regard sur Jésus qui allait et venait, il dit Voici la main de Dieu. Les deux disciples entendirent ce qu'il disait et ils le suivirent. Se retournant, Jésus vit qu'il le suivait, il le dit Que cherchez-vous Ils lui répondirent Rabbi, ce qui veut dire maître, où demeures-tu Il leur, leur dit Venez et vous verrez. Il alla dans, il vit où il demeurait et il restait auprès de lui ce jour-là. C'était vers la 10e ou 19e heure, environ 4 heures de l'après-midi. André, le frère de Simon Pierre, était l'un des deux disciples qui avaient entendu la parole de Jean et qui avaient suivi Jésus. Il trouve d'abord Simon, son frère, et lui dit Nous avons trouvé le Messie, ce qui veut dire le Christ. André, maintenant, son frère à Jésus. Jésus posa son regard sur lui et dit, « Tu es Simon, fils de Jean, tu t'appelleras Kephas, ce qui veut dire Pierre. » Acclamons la parole de Dieu. Follow him. 
did so. First thing he did was he ran and got his brother Peter and some of the others, the fishermen, told them, I found the Messiah, the Christ. If Samuel and Andrew didn't really hear God's call and follow him, history would be very different. They were willing to leave the comfort of what they knew, to trust God to lead them into an unknown future, but to trust in the Lord, to trust in the Lord and to know the Lord would walk with them. That was their great charism. Believe and trust in the Lord. Way back in the last century, the beginning of the 20th century, St. Gregory's was the, the big parish of this part of the city. And from St. Gregory's sprouted off St. Matthew's, 1900. I know that because my, my grandparents lived around there, Tory Street. And they built that church literally. My mother and father were married there, June 17, 1939. My sister was baptized there. Little Billy was baptized there, July 14, 1946. So St. Matthew's has a special place in the, the Joy family, as does St. Andrew. My aunt and uncle lived across the street on Cummings Highway across from Rexford Street for over 60 years. My cousin Ruth was baptized here, married here. My aunt and uncle were buried here. I spent over 20 wonderful years here. And sometimes it's not easy to leave what is comfortable, to leave what we used to, to trust in the Lord, to be like Samuel and Andrew, to have that faith and that trust that we're really called, we're really called to be part of God's plan of salvation, to be called to be active in God's plan of salvation, not mere spectators, but disciples. St. Matthew's ended St. Angela's for over a century. It was like Carmel to many families, many individuals. It was where people were born, were married, died. A place where people make decisions in their life. A place where people came to be with God in their sacred space. And for many, many years, it was the Carmel of Dorchester and Manapain. I know you went to many meetings and prayed, tried to discern, as Father Silver has told us, and you know, it's not just about finances and personnel and buildings. It's about faith and trust in God. Sometimes God's call comes in different ways, ways we don't expect. It took Samuel a while to hear that call. But as you go forth as the community of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, to realize you're being called. You've been responding to a call from God. God has called you amidst the, the pandemic, the pandemic of health, the pandemic of spirit, the pandemic of freedom. The Lord has called you to be a Mount Carmel in the 21st century. Called you to be here in this part of his domain to bring his presence, his love, and his peace to those around us. He's called you to be a carmel, to be an orchard, to be a vineyard, to be a garden that brings life and hope into a changing world. To be that constant presence of God amidst a secular society. So as we gather here today, we gather here not just to change names. We are gathered here today because we've all responded to God's call. Today we are all Samuel. Today 
we are all Andrew. And like Samuel and Andrew, we must go forth responding to God's call to bring his message, his presence, his love, and his peace. To be an orchard, to be a vineyard, to be a garden, to be a carmel in a world that so desperately needs one. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Who shall I fear? Respectivement à ma copine, 
selon le décès de Dieu et la population des responsables visibles. Que Dieu reçoive nos intentions de prière, puis en faisant descendre sur nous ses multiples grâces et d'abondantes bénédictions venant de lui, suppliant le Seigneur des pauvres. Seigneur, que nous Oh God, we receive our call in our baptism. Throughout our lives, may we respond in the affirmation of that call. May we continue to grow and be alive in faith wherever you call us. Grant all those petitions that will make this possible today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now we're going to bless the two statues of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. We're going to bless the two statues of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. After the Mess, we're going to bless the two statues.
virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. At the 
the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread one in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Give us a song, Mama. Very Reverend Father Brian McHugh, Episcopal Vicar for the Central Region. Very Reverend Father William E. Joy, Assist Assistant Vicar for Administration and Special Assistant to the Vicar General. Reverend Father Paul Super, Secretary for Evangelization and Discipleship and Director of Pastoral Planning Office. Dear Father Prezival, dear Deacon Joe, Sisters and brothers in Christ, this January 17th marks a high point in the parish life of our area. A historic day has risen here in Meridian, Dorchester. This comes after a long, hard, and intensive journey of decisions and interactions. Blessed Mother, hail! Oh, Our Lady, here we are with you, with your help, to entrust all our beings to your so gentle heart. Blessed Mother, be Queen of our home. We belong to you. Reign as our sovereign. Be the Madonna to whom we like to pray so often. You are our Mother, present to your Son, the fervent prayer of your dear children. Brothers and sisters, at the end of such a beautiful inauguration mass of Our Lady of Mount Carmel Parish in Manapin, Dorchester, I'd like to express my gratitude to His Eminence Cardinal Sean for his good decision to erect this new parish. We thank him for his leadership and special attention to our community. I also thank Father Paul Sober, who has been with us from the beginning of the merger process, even before that. Thank you, Father Sober, for your guidance, your attention, and your great patience. Thanks for being with us this morning. I thank Father Bill Joy, our harmonist today. Did he do a good job? Thank you, Father. Father Joy, we know you, everybody knows you. The one who truly knows this community, thank you, Father Joy, for your great family, your ongoing attention, your advice, your love for this community, and for your presence today at this inauguration mass. I thank Father Brian Matthew, our Episcopal Vicar, who is presiding this memorable celebration. Thank you, Father Brian. Thank you for your presence and attention. Thank you for being so close. I keep calling you anytime, whenever I need help, and you usually respond to me with so great a gentleness. We also thank our advisors and guides from the beginning, Lorna De Rose, who is maybe with us, Tom Duddy, Deb Dillon, and all those who have supported us with their insights and prayers. I thank in a special way Father Patrick Rizival, our guest priest on this opening season. We thank the different commissions that have worked so hardly toward this journey. I greet in, I, in a special way the former parishioners of St. Matthew's who have accepted to move forward with us like Abraham, leaving his country to go to a place that the Lord will indicate him. Thank you for your wonderful active presence that will boost the parish life of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. I also thank the former parishioners of St. Angeles for their welcome and their capacity of making space for others and for welcoming changes in new structures in their community life. Thanks to all of you, my brothers and sisters. Thanks to, to you pilgrims, pilgrims of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. 
This parish is also yours. We would like to see you more often and welcome you in large numbers as the pandemic will fade. Ma promesse vous toutes à la Ronde Bade, une façon spéciale toute équipe qui te travaille depuis le commencement. Nous avons songé tout le temps et l'équipe de tout le monde qui te travaille, différentes commissions. Nous avons songé aux organes de presse qui sont toujours avec nous, télévision, tout ce qui est là sur les réseaux sociaux. Nous avons salué, nous comptons sur avec nous. Nous avons fait un bel coup de chapeau pour une belle coup de chapeau pour l'équipe de décoration qui fait un bel travail pour les musiciens, pour le sacristain, pour le maman équipe qui était animée le fait avec le Fridium. Nous avons remercié le staff, le nouveau paroisse Noir, et nous avons remercié tous les volontaires qui ont fait un bel travail dans la rectorie. Je ne suis pas capable de faire ça, mais c'est fait ça. C'est vraiment clair et presbytéa pendant le jour qui passé là, c'est chaque bas un coup de job que vraiment, que moi content, apprécié et moi vraiment senti moi content pour me saluer, moi vraiment et, et reconnaissant pour le bel travail que vous faites. Frère Maximio, mais pas parce que mais notre dame du bon carmen. Je vous merci pour la collaboration. Je vous merci pour la confiance que nous faisons. J'aime toujours dire que depuis que nous avons parlé avec nous, nous avons une réponse. C'est nous-mêmes qui avons acheté Bell Star Society. Vous avez acheté ça. Merci. Mes congratulations. Nous avons fait un petit peu. Trois stats que nous avons demandé. Nous avons. Il y a une qui nous a. Mais ça a pris possession. Et mais. Reine Noa, Reine de Reine Noa, qui l'a appris au milieu de ce Est-ce que nous aimons Est-ce que nous aimons Est-ce que nous aimons Merci en pire, merci en pire. Frère Maxime, nous sommes capables de dire que nous arrivons dans le bout et tout le processus que nous avons fait, et bien je dis à nous capables de dire que c'est aboutissement. En pile par en pile, en pile tête chargée. Aïe, 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 c'est pas de facile du tout. Quand tu as un bon estomac pour nous encaisser, ce n'est pas, pas de facile. Mais nous connaissons. Plutôt, nous avons une paroisse qui a bien marché. Quand nous avons deux paroisses, nous connaissons tout le bagage qui est à la traîne. Deux paroisses qui ne sont pas capables de camper. Nous-mêmes qui sommes responsables, nous connaissons ça à la dire. Nous que c'est dette sur dette que nous avons fait dans chaque paroisse. En tout cas, c'est un arrivé, mais tout c'est un point de départ. C'est un commencement. Moi, je veux travailler avec tout le monde. Moi, je veux pour tout le groupe jouer une place en un nouveau paroisse. Le COVID-19 a commencé à baisser. Nous allons reprendre toute activité. Nous allons commencer à faire des structures qui parlent pour que nous puissions nous remettre en compte, nous réunions. Ça a vécu, mais pour vous lier, nous sommes beaucoup capables. Nous allons aller doucement, doucement. Je dis tout merci pour toute confiance que nous faisons et nous voulons travailler ensemble pour nous mettre mon camel Jam, pour mon camel faire bon travail dans Matapen, dans Dorchester. Je bien aimé, j'aime bien le commentaire. Notre Dame du Mont Carmel de Boston. Notre Dame du Mont Carmel de Boston. Vous êtes notre Dame de New York. Montre dame de mon carmel de Boston. Content de ça. Alors, les dire mon carmel de Boston. Et puis, on dit ça, on connaît, c'est sur ma tapette. My sisters and brothers, the journey has been very challenging, but we made it. Alors, les dire mon carmel, as you said, is a combined parish from St. Matthews and St. Angeles. It is both of them all together. It is all of us. It is a new reality, a new entity, a new family, with a new style, a new shape, and a new personality that we are called to build together day by day. We pledge to move forward with hope, courage, and optimism. 
We pledge to continue to work together, to meet together, and to celebrate together. Now is the time to organize our new parish life, to activate the teams, the groups, the councils. And as we work together, empowered by the Holy Spirit, we will do a great job. And at the end of the day, we will realize that this is the church. This is exactly the way it's getting built. Thanks to each one of you. The journey has just begun. Let us move forward as disciples in mission. We believe that the best is yet to come. Long life, our new parish, our Lady of Mokama, and may God bless you. At the end of the Mass, we will go, we will go outside in order to bless the statue outside. So please, let the priest, let the clergy go first, and you can follow as you respect social distancing. Thank you for your understanding. After the Mass, we will be able to go to the Mass before. We will be able to go to the Mass before we will be able to go to the Mass. We will be able to go to the Mass and we will respect the social distancing. Thank you for your comprehension. And good night. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Father Garcia, would you go to the microphone, please? And give us your blessing as our shepherd of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, lost it. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 